Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the Pony Express, Vic DiBetetto here. You know, Jimmy Kimmel does a thing once in a while called Mean Tweets. It's really funny, and he has famous celebrities read Mean Tweets, people write about them on Twitter. Well, I don't really read the awful things people write about me on Twitter, but I do get some unbelievably shitty private messages. So, I decided to read some of them to you so you can see what I deal with on a daily basis. It ain't all fun and games, folks. And you can only imagine the miserable, nasty pieces of shit out there in social media land. So, here we go with an edition of Shitty Private Messages. This first one is from Betty K. I can't use last names. I think you're a riot, but do you have to curse? You're better than that. Betty, here's the only way I can answer you. I am not better than that, whatever that is. I like to express myself, and I use words like shitbag, asspipe, dick face, and fuckhead. I also like to say things like goo gobbler, ass blaster, nut juggler, and tit slapper. I don't know if they are also dirty words or just funny visual things. In any event, go fuck yourself, Betty, and thanks for reaching out. This one is from Ben R. If you weren't so small-minded, you would understand that the earth is flat. You're just another sheep believing everything you're told by the government. And you're not funny either. Now, before I get into the not funny part, this guy Ben wants to get into an argument with me about the earth being flat. In fact, his entire argument is that all the proof is out there that the world is flat. You can't make this stuff up. Ben, I want you to take a long walk and eventually fall off the end of the earth, you fucking dope. And take a picture so we can all see where the earth ends too. I feel like Casey Kasem. Here's a good one from James W. How dare you use Jesus Christ's name in vain? I am a very religious person and I take offense to your words. You will spend eternity rotting in hell. You know how we handle people like you? With the Smith and Wesson. Okay, so here's a self-proclaimed very religious man telling me he wants to shoot me. Yes, I'm pretty sure Jesus would be okay with that one. This is a fun one. Tony T says, old man, you are a liberal scumbag. And Dawn M says, go fuck yourself, you conservative asshole. And there you have it, the catch-22, the impossible position. One person thinks I'm a liberal and one thinks I'm a conservative. I mean, wow, can you imagine the messages and comments George Collin would get today or Richard Pryor? Remember when Sam Kinison did his thing about people in Africa starving and his famous line was, move to where the food is. Can you imagine his private messages? How dare you make fun of people starving? Or how about Andrew Dice Clay with his nursery rhymes? Imagine those comments. Why do you have to use foul language and ruin these beautiful nursery rhymes? Just think about that. Think about how times have changed and how so many people can hide behind their keyboards and just say whatever they want because they're small-minded, miserable, nasty pieces of shit. Oh, how times have changed. For the first 31 years of my career, I never had anyone say anything nasty to me. The last six years? <laughs> what a shit fest. But... Thank God for 99.9% .9 of my fans who reach out every day and say really wonderful things to me. Thank you all. Never let the 1% ruin anything. There's a reason why they are the 1%. If they are a woman, they have horribly smelly snapper holes that stink so bad they make their dildos puke. And if they are men, they have tiny dicks and they also suffer from premature ejaculation. This is why they are so miserable. So when you read a nasty comment, remember, this is why these people are so miserable. Okay, that's that. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you soon.